they're gonna be gone for 48 hours. Why are you packing all these clothes? I mean, this is a romantic weekend. Why pack any clothes? We've got to walk through the lobby. <laughs> okay, pack one dress and all the Luther Vandross CDs you can find. <laughs> no, Mommy, don't go! Oh, Cece, uh, Mommy and Daddy are going away on a romantic trip. Do you understand what that means? Yep, can I go? Honey, you're staying with Mrs. Wilcox. No. Cece, you're being a big baby. Grow up! <laughs> Look at Nicholas. He's gonna be a big boy until we get back, aren't you, champ? You're leaving me too! Don't go, Daddy, please! Daddy, please! Don't go! Daddy, please! Hey, 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 what's all that yammering about? Y'all sound like my sister the night we tried to crimp her hair with a waffle iron. <laughs> it's just a little separation anxiety. It's a difficult age for yeah. them. Yeah. Uh-huh. I got Kung Fu movies and a freezer full of cookie dough. Bye, Mom, bye, Dad. <laughs> That's a gangster <gang> again. <laughs> I hope you two have a great time this weekend. I'll miss you. Oh, I miss them already. But you know what? They deserve it, Zarya. After all the years they've worked and sacrificed, wearing dowdy clothes, going without decent haircuts and modern music, <laughs> to provide us with a, with a wonderful lifestyle that we don't fully appreciate. So when are you guys leaving? <laughs> when you're 32, unpack. Now, we both decided that Michael and Zaria were old enough to be trusted for one weekend. Honey, he's being polite. He's up to something. <laughs> Dad. Uh, the sooner we leave, the longer we're there. The longer we're there, the more Luther we can play. I'll zip up the bags. Bye, kids. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. Responsibility is our middle name. <laughs> But our first name is... Party! Party. <laughs> I could, but you know how it is. I can't believe he waited till Friday afternoon to tell you. What's wrong? I've got to conduct a mock trial for class Monday morning. I'll have to spend the entire weekend planning for it. <sighs> so, so let me get this straight. <laughs> You're saying that you two are not going away for the weekend? Don't worry, we can still have fun. <laughs> Three hours, 30 kids are gonna show up here. No, we invited 30. Each one of them is gonna bring 30 more. 900 kids are gonna be here! <laughs> Sorry, get a grip, get a grip! <laughs> I'm back. Well, you know what? There's nothing left to do but just ask them. Michael, no tricks. Be totally straight with them. All right, okay. Hey, Dad, looking good there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a new mustache? What are you up to? Way to go, Michael. All right, okay. Could we have a little house party here tonight? No, really, what do you want? That's it, Dad. I just want to have a house party. Is that all? Yeah. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it. Why not? Because I know what'll happen. It'll start out as a party and end up as something on Rescue 911. <laughs> you don't know that. Oh, yes, I do. How? Well... Oh, no. I, I don't know what happened. I was just hanging out with my main man, and then all of a sudden, the apartment caught on fire. Uh-huh. So, Superfly, where's your mother? My mother? She's gonna ground me forever. I'll be grounded in her wheel. <laughs> By the time she lets me out again, Disco will be dead. 
You're too irresponsible, that's all. Come that is on, so unfair. Come on, on just let hey, it hey. hey, what's going on, guys? Dad won't let us have a house party. Oh, your daddy knows what he's talking about, young lady. <laughs> Thanks, dear. On account, he threw the wildest party in school history. Neighbors are still calling to complain. Derek, would you just wait outside? It was insane, man. Oh, remember the fire party? The fire party? Oh. Robbie, you giving another fire party? <laughs> the roof. The roof. The roof, <laughs> the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Robbie, you need another wild party, man. You too uptight. What you get? Out of <laughs> That's why you won't let us have a party? Because when you were our age, you messed up? That's not true. I was more responsible than both of you put together. Oh, come on, you guys. Sit over here and play for a little while, OK? There you go. Robert, I thought you were going to help me prepare for my mock trial. In, in a minute, honey. I'm just trying to settle a little disagreement. Hey, wait a minute, Dad. Why don't we decide this the American way? We just did. I said no. <laughs> Hear me out, hear me out. You're saying that we're not responsible, but you were, right? That's right. Well, if we can legally prove that you messed up in some big way when you were our age, can we have the party? Uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. That is a great idea. Michael and I can be the prosecutors, and Mom, you can be Dad's defense attorney. It would give me some practice. Honey, find another way to get some practice. Trust me on this. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't have any confidence in me being a lawyer? <laughs> Okay, you can have the trial as long as you both agree to abide by my decision. Your decision? You can't be the judge. You already said no. Who else is going to be the judge? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. My hair dryer broke. And I have to call a cab and ride 40 blocks with my head stuck out the window. What about Mrs. Wilcox? As Don King, yes. <laughs> As a judge, no way, dude. <laughs> Michael, 900 kids are going to be here in two hours. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Wilcox presiding. <laughs> This is great. It looks just like a courtroom. Yeah, but in 55 minutes, it's gonna look like the set of Soul Train. <laughs> we better just win this case before our friends show up. What's with the crayons, Cece? I'm a courtroom artist. Stand really, really still. <laughs> hey, 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 court is in session. All right for the horrible Mrs. Wilcox. <laughs> That's honorable. <laughs> <laughs> the case of Peterson versus Peterson is being heard. Is our counsel ready with opening statements? Yes, we are, Your Honor. Judge Wilcox, opposing counsel, bunnies and teddy bears of the jury. <laughs> Today, I intend to prove that my client, Robert Peterson, was a responsible teenager. Now, as you all well know... Now, Jerry, honey, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is coming on. Would you please put a little giddy up in your get along? <laughs> Your Honor, the prosecution is ready with our opening statement. Proceed. Well, first off, we would just like to say that you are a vision in black. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sugar. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Nothing further. <laughs> Objection, he's just sucking up. <laughs> Objection overruled. Proceed with your first witness. Your Honor, we call Derek Sawyer to the stand. Swear him in, bailiff. I'm not allowed to swear. <laughs> oh, you're such a good boy. <laughs> Sit down and tell the truth. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Mr. Sawyer, how would you describe my father in his youth? Uh, I don't echo that. <laughs> Well, isn't it true that you and my father went to high school together for four years? Uh, I don't recall. <laughs> How can you sit here and say that you do not know my father? Who? Forget it, Michael. He's not gonna tell us anything about the fire party. The fire party? Oh, man, it was insane. <laughs> now, that was in the summer of 1976. I was looking real smooth. <laughs> Groovy scene. 
to boast, but I'm the host with the most. <laughs> you dig? Check it out. Derek is my main squeeze, and every other woman in town is after what I get. And you dig that. <laughs> oh. oh, that's my song! That's my man! Look at him down! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While Derek's back is turned, I'm gonna steal his fan woman and make her man, man, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's nowhere near what happened. Yes, it is. You stole Jerry from me after I funky chickened my back out. <laughs> you dated Derek? It wasn't a date. Derek just gave me a ride to the party. You never gave me gas money. That makes it a date in my books. <laughs> examine the living daylights out of this witness? The prosecution still has some unanswered questions, like what my mother was thinking when she went out with Derek. <laughs> Sorry, we are down to 39 minutes. Please stick with the fire. Your Honor, all we've heard from this witness are lies. I can tell you the truth. The truth? You can handle the truth. <laughs> Mr. Peterson. The court would like to hear your version. <laughs> About the only thing he got right was that it was 1976. Mr. Sawyer, did it happen more like this? <laughs> no, right on, right on. No, because everybody's moving and grooving. It's dynamite. <laughs> hey, what it is, Robert? my man. Slap me five on the black hand side. <laughs> Have you seen Window Man? Job time turkeys hanging around your daddy's car. Near my dad's brand new pacer? Right on. <laughs> Come on, man. Derek, I made you a sandwich. <laughs> so fine, strong, brave. Derek treats me horribly. Please save me from him. I'll make you a sandwich. Your Honor, I object. You can't object. You're my lawyer. <laughs> I move we recess until after Wheel of Fortune. Nobody's recessing anywhere until I get a chance to pick some holes into his flimsy, laughable story. <laughs> Here's how it really happened. Uh, my name is uh, Robert. I'm an Aquarius. Uh, the water sign. The sign of wetness, wet water. Aquarius, I got it. What sign are you? I think I'm a Pisces. Right on, the fish. Wetness, the fish, <laughs> we were meant to be together. No, wait a minute, I'm a Capricorn. Goats get wet, too. <laughs> hey, man, you putting the moves on my woman. She's mine now, brother. Hey, I saw her first. <laughs> I'll fight you for her. Well, bring it on. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, Foxy Mama. Look here, I'm gonna go fix me a sandwich, and I'm gonna come back and fight for your honor, okay, baby? Get us a scruff. <laughs> come on. Come on, no, 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 you come, come back on. with that sandwich. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it was that fight that led to the fire that you've all avoided mentioning. You've got it all wrong. There was no fight. Then what did happen, Mr. Peterson? Not what your mother said. Well, it wasn't what your father said. It wasn't what either of them said. Oh, come on, guys. Mama? Not now, son. 
Can't you see I'm conducting a trial here? Wait a minute. Wendell was at the party, and he's completely objective. You didn't date him, did you, Mom? Please. You know you thought about it. <laughs> the prosecution calls Wendell Wilcox to the stand. Wendell, in less than 12 minutes, please give your perspective on the fire party. <laughs> Man, it was out of sight. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a ride over here, Derek. Shoot. Man, 40 cents a gallon for gas? Did I mention the total came to $3.12? Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I don't know if this is my kind of scene. But maybe I'll stay for just a few minutes. Well, I'm gonna keep on trucking. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Peter Robertson. I mean, I'm uh, Robert Robertson. I mean, I'm Robert Peterson. I'm Jerry Peterson. I mean, Robertson. I mean, I can't even Richardson. <laughs> We got emergency in the kitchen, man. Somebody done ate all the snacks. Who? Well, mostly me, but they got some other people back there eating, too. <laughs> Window, I'm busy right now. Man, but we ain't got nothing left but a bag of marshmallows and some graham cracker cookies and more Hershey bar. <laughs> the day I discovered s'mores, it was magic. It's like the day RuPaul discovered lipstick. <laughs> Wendell, what about the fire, man? The fire! Did you quit badgering the witness? <laughs> so anyway, Rob and Jerry start rapping. So, uh, what do you want to do with your life? I don't know. My father's a judge. But I think I'd rather start a family first and then go into law. What about you? I despise money. I want to build a ranch somewhere really cool, like New Mexico, and teach people it's okay to just be groovy. I see. But uh, I'm willing to change my plans a little if the right lady comes along. <laughs> We got emergency in the kitchen. <laughs> did you know marshmallows can catch on fire? You're bumming me out, window. And did you know that if you shake the flaming marshmallows around, they don't go out, they just stick to the walls and create more fire? Go away, window. <laughs> Wait a minute. You set my mother's apartment on fire? Hey, I'm not on trial here. <laughs> I'm still grounded from that. <laughs> it serves you right for kissing my date. It wasn't a date. Then give me a dollar and 56 cents for gas. Oh, <laughs> Honor! Honor! That's time for closing arguments. Wheel of Fortune is almost over. And you got five <laughs> seconds to sum up. Go. Okay. I think it's obvious that the prosecution hasn't proven their case, since the fire upon which their entire argument rests was not started by the defendant. That's our case. She ate up one of your seconds. Go. All right. <laughs> Wendell started the fire. That's not the point. Dad was in charge and let Wendell near a stove, which wouldn't be a good idea today, let alone 20 years ago. <laughs> and I love your hair. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> Here's my decision. Now, I can't hold Robert responsible for the actions of my hopeless son. <laughs> the prosecution hasn't proven Mr. Peterson irresponsible. We're dead. They're gonna send me to military school. <laughs> so I have no other choice but to find for the defendant. W w wait a minute, I'd like to appeal the decision. What? Huh? Robert, you can't appeal, we won. No, no, no. M Michael's right. I didn't start the fire, but I was in charge. Instead of blaming you kids for my past mistakes, uh, I'd rather you learn from them. You can have your party with Mrs. Wilcox acting as chaperone. Oh, yes, good! <laughs> in that case, Your Honor, permission to sequester the witness for a weekend in the Poconos. Granted. <laughs> At least Michael and Zaria came to me for permission. Uh, mm -hmm. Believe it or not, I threw that party without asking my mother. 
No. But that was me. I know you guys would never do that. <laughs> so go on. Start calling your friends. <laughs> I'll get it. Oh, thanks.